My name is Rachel McNair. I'm with the Consistent Life Network. We're the peace movement pro-lifers. I'd like to point out that whatever kind of issue that you're interested in, if it's death penalty, police brutality, uh, domestic violence, war, that they're all connected because, you know, dehumanizing and greed and callousness, but most of all, violence as a problem solver. Now, if we establish that violence is not a problem solver, then just as all violence is connected, you get one part of it. You get around to all of it. So anytime you establish violence is not a problem solver, it will help you on the issue of violence that you're most concerned about. I'm Thad Crouch of Choose Life Abort War former National Program Coordinator of the Consistent Life Network, please make sure no judge can ever claim your state constitution includes a right to either get or fund abortions. Judges have ruled that slaves were not legal persons and that corporations are. What do human rights even mean when judges rule that some people are not legal persons while science proves they are living human individuals. Hi, my name is Sophie. I believe in a state, a country, and a world free from aggressive violence, including abortion. I believe that all human beings have equal human dignity and deserve human rights, including the unborn and their parents. I believe in life-affirming health care that supports and empowers families and children, no matter what their state of development or abilities. And I want to make sure that our Constitution never supports violence against the unborn. My name is Krista Corbello. Because of my life experience, I know that women don't need abortion. Families don't need abortion. Abortion is not the solution to an unwanted child. You see, in many ways, I was an unwanted child. My parents were unwed, immigrants, and abortion vulnerable. Because of my mom's life-affirming choice, I stand before you today. Because life isn't just for the planned and the perfect. Why bring a child into a world full of suffering, you might ask? Well, I ask you this. Is it better for a child to die than to suffer. I, of all people, know that a choice for life doesn't mean a life without suffering. My life is equal parts suffering and joy, pain and healing. And if my mom had made another choice, I wouldn't even have that chance. But lives like mine, unplanned and messy, are equally worthy of dignity, respect, and compassion. So